Hi everybody, Sagittarius 98 Adam. And this will be the last of the beginner's guide. Actually, technically it won't. It's the last country. But I'm also going to record a South American challenge so that we can kind of go through all of the countries. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Anyway, it's Brazil. Um, probably the, not the hardest one. Um, certainly, the nice thing about Brazil is you speak Portuguese, so it's not unlike every other country. And in terms of street view, it's available mostly in the east, only some places in the west. There's not much actually available outside of this area right in here. So it is nicer. You will mostly get this area, but you definitely can get a Carondonia, Mato Grosso, um, Pará as well. So they do show up. Um, and also of note is this island right here. This is part of Brazil, and there's street view here. You don't see it. There you go. Uh, there's street view here, so uh, just keep in mind because you could get that. There's another one that that one, but it's uninhabited, so it's not as much of a concern. So uh, terrain mode. There's not that many mountains. There are near Rio, near Sao Paulo, but in here you have there's a lot of hills and sort of rolling hills in Brazil, but there's not high mountainous peaks, really. There are some in Rondonia, or not in Rondonia, in uh, Roraima. There's some in Roraima, some in Goyas, uh, or up in, in here. Um, but the biggest mountains are, are along the coast, from Espirito Santo down through Rio Grande do Sul. This area, right in here, which can be seen better uh, actually, better from the terrain map, but you won't get the terrain map for this. Sierra, Rio Grande do Norte, Paraíba, Pernambuco have a lot of deserty areas, arid areas. Um, that's the only desert areas of Brazil, so if you see desert, it's going to be in this part of Brazil. Now, other parts are, are pretty similar, but you can sometimes tell in terms of clay. There's a little more clay in Sao Paulo, usually. This part, Sao Paulo, northern part of Paraná, but it varies. Minas Gerais will often appear, there's also some clay here. It's all in our first Rio Grande do Sul is much like Uruguay, for example, and so on. Um, so, yeah, it's just, it, it, it comes with practice, um, but with that, I guess I'll move on to the challenge. No time limit, Brazil. Okay. Immediately you can notice mountains. Now, as I've said, mountains... These are sort of still kind of the hilly, uh, this is more than rolling hills, but it's, it's still, it's not necessarily the coastal mountains. It could be. It well could be, but it's not necessarily the case. You have, the vegetation here isn't very tropical. It's very much southern-like vegetation. In this case, southern, since it's the southern hemisphere, that means more, uh, more temperate, as opposed to the northern hemisphere, of course. So more temperate, um, which means this might be in the south of Brazil, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, but it may be. We'll see. Okay. Little lag again. Um, yeah, so... Of course, the, uh, the best thing to do is go down. Um, Brazil does not have, well, it has kilometer markers, actually, like that one. Um, so, it, but it doesn't have any kind of little stone markers or something. It just has these kinds of things, which sometimes say the route number at the top. This one does not. It just says kilometer um, 555. So, that's not helpful, other than the fact that it's a long road, since it's kilometer 555. Um, Roads are numbered from south to north in Brazil, I believe. Um, I'm not sure if they're, how they are numbered in regards to west to east. And also they are numbered by state. So if you're on a national road and it goes from among many states, if you're at kilometer two, that doesn't mean that you're in Rio Grande do Sul or something. It means you're in kilometer two of that state. So 
also something to keep in mind. I think explore Brazil. Even if this is more southern, there is still some tropical vegetation, as is in pretty much all of Brazil, except perhaps the far, far south, close to Uruguay, which doesn't have as much. But even, even Santa Catarina, Paraná, has tropicalish vegetation, even if it has a mix of more temperate trees. So now, yeah, it's just, it's finding a town, finding an intersection, since we don't have the route number on the, um, on the blue signs, so what we need to do is, is get to a bigger road with some sort of, uh, distance indicators, how far we are from some towns, or, I mean, we don't even have to get to an intersection, if there's a distance marker out in here, then even better. Government sign. These are very helpful. So it is Minas Gerais. And these signs are these signs are really good because they often indicate the state. So here you have MG. The abbreviations thankfully are at this zoom level. MG, Minas Gerais. So Minas Gerais four fifty five, somewhere near the Brazil one forty six BR is the general code for Brazil roads. So the Brazilian 146 is here, thankfully fairly uh, short. The Minas Gerais 455 uh, is um, here, Andrade. So now the question, I guess, there's where? Between here and here, somewhere. Um, I want to pinpoint this down a little further. It's round one. I mean, I'm not going for perfect score, but I want a little more than just a, a general guess. There's a city, I mean, look. if I see a city that big, I'm going to go to it for a number of reasons. Um, so, yeah, smaller roads have these, um, have the, the road number at the top of the kilometer marker less often than the larger roads. Not sure why that is, but it's very similar to Argentina in that respect. That the bigger roads pretty much always will have it. Not always, but almost always. Uh, while the um, the other ones, less so. So coming into Andradas, I actually don't know from which direction. I'm kind of going south now. West, but also south. I mean, here, right, possibly. Let's go back to the, okay, I can't go back to the main road. So this will have to suffice. Oh, because that might actually be the 455 coming in through here. Possibly. It does a little... I don't know what it does, actually. What if I go down here, then... If I continue down here, then I will probably hit the 146, eventually. Oh. It's really just a matter of pinpointing which road did I start on. So that's Mar or something. Mansur. Uh, it could be, but I don't know how that connects. I'm going to say I started on the 455. It's a nice town, by the way. Um, yeah, I, I don't really care to pinpoint more specifically. It's just a matter of, of, I mean, you've got, yeah, definitely, this is somewhere in, in here. Uh, not really, it's more, could be that. 
Oh, no, it was actually on the 146. So I was coming in south. Marfim, there we go. That makes sense. So I was coming in south. Yeah, so in this case, it was the big road, actually. So I was on the 146, coming up to the 455. But same idea, more or less. Okay, now, different landscape. However, it could still be the same state. Minas Gerais is very... is varied. This is much drier, much more open, and more rolling hills. However, that does not preclude it from still being Minas Gerais, just completely different part of it, more towards the west of the state. Oftentimes with Brazil, you, you don't have to look at the landscape as much, because usually you will have the state anyway from signs. So oftentimes you can process to yourself, okay, this is probably Minas Gerais, but more often than not, you will have a, a state indicator somewhere along the line, unless you're on a, a tiny road, but like on a road like this, or a road like the one we were on, there will be a sign to guide you to which state you're in. So here, as much as it's not by the kilometer markers, I haven't seen any kilometer markers yet, by the way, um, there should be something at some point. Uh, for example, like there's a town. You can see a town already um, down there. There was a sign, perhaps. I don't see it, so I'm just going to go past. There's a sign over there, unfortunately lagging. This may be a government sign, based on the structure of it from the back. It is. It's Minas Gerais again, the Minas Gerais. That's not the derecho or whatever. Governo de Minas. So if you see just Minas, if you see any placing that has Minas, it's usually in Minas Gerais. Not always, but usually it is. So, here we go. It's the BR-265. Um, which is 265, there's a 365. We're looking for the 265 down in here. The Madre de Deus de Minas. Also the 383. Either one of the two. 335, 383, 338. There's the, the national, Madre de Deus de Minas. This could be it. Uh, we're going south, possibly into Madre de Deus, de Minas. So this road, it's the National 383, but it's also the MG 383. Why it's done that way, I don't know. It, indeed, it is Madre de Deus, de Minas, which is a mouthful to say. It's going north, eventually, like here. No. Like here, maybe. Yeah, right idea, just too close. Yeah, so that one, you saw MG again. The government signs are super helpful for Brazil. This, on the other hand, is characteristic of the Northeast. Dry, deserty. I mean, it's not, it's not a complete desert, but it's semi-arid, red soil, and trees that are not very tall kind of scrub dead vegetation. So this is generally a symbol of here, which you can see it's much, it's no longer green in this part, so somewhere in here, likely. But you never know. However, my guess would be the furthest south it could be is Bahia. Is my guess, personally. Um, okay. There's a sign, I believe that's just a uh, no passing sign. Over on the left, in the other direction, yeah, I, that is, because it's circular. Because I was looking at the line so I could tell that there was no passing past that point. Okay. 
I don't see much in the distance in this direction, however I'm just going to continue on and see because in any case there might be a, a road sign, if not I can always just go back to the start and go the other direction. Just pinpoint this down. Okay, so let's see, here we go. This one actually doesn't have any clues, if I can see. Uh, it's just an advertisement, but it is in two kilometers, which means there is something in two kilometers. Is it just the gas station? Might be. But it might be more than just the gas station. So I'm going to definitely go in that direction and see. Um, see, and, and maybe there will be a clue. That sign, same sign, okay. There's a little bridge, no indicator of what it's bridging. So here's our, the kilometer marker does not feature the name at the top, or the, the, the road number, name of the state and road number. So that will not be helpful. This is a, a tiny town, mainly just a gas station town. However, it does have a government sign. PE, standing for Pernambuco. If you don't know that, it also says Pernambuco there. Para Mirim, Pernambuco. Zoom out, there's Pernambuco. And there's Parnamirim. Now, that's not what this town is, though. At least, I don't think, because Parnamirim would be bigger. Yes, it would. Because this one is, it's, It's kind of like just on one side. Maybe this has a Imao Vila? Possibly? Mm, no. Oh, Krishaba. How about that one? Uh, Krishaba. I do not see. It's in here somewhere. Just, there it is, Krishaba. There, there is a gas station. So I went east, or west rather, so somewhere there, that's good enough for me, four kilometers closer, but yes, just a matter of pinpointing, um, which I certainly could have done, but you could tell, definitely a different landscape, much more, much drier. Okay, this is different, it's a city. Immediately, there's certain things that you can tell, one of which is the area code, 49. So area codes in Brazil actually can be helpful. They grow the further north and the west you go. So they start low and then come through 49 is Minas Gerais, maybe. It might be Bahia, might be 49. But they grow higher the north you go. Pará is 93, I do remember that one. So there's actually a couple, I think, in Pará. There's 93, 94, 95. Uh, so it's all, it's all regional based, and there's a pattern. So it is worth learning, perhaps. I don't remember them all, but maybe eventually I will. But in cities, what you should look for is businesses, especially if there's no time limit. If there's a time limit, you have to sort of balance it, because then there might be, there's tons of businesses here. None of them might have it. So it's not going to help, but you know, eventually there will be one that does have the city and state code. Is what you're looking for. Also, advertisements just outside of the city can be very uh, helpful. And um, yeah, if if you see advertisements, oftentimes on fences outside of the city, they are very good because you won't have the city name on the outside of the city. One thing to point out, commercial vehicles in Brazil have red plates. So if you see red plates, it's a Brazilian uh, truck. Um, or a truck or van or whatever. But it, trucks don't move around as much in South America between countries. I mean, Brazil is huge. So if you see a red plate, it's probably in Brazil. It's probably not a, a truck going to Argentina. It's likely in Brazil. So you can at least figure out it's Brazil at that point. There's a, a couple options we could take. There's um, the street names are well labeled. I'm going to continue down south, down west rather, over west. I don't know, something towards the city center, which is visible. 
looking a little bit at these signs. And then this one, Duque de Cassias, Mage, Yagis, Magis. Uh, one more is going to be too far. It will be. Unfortunate. I believe that was the city name. It didn't have a state code, though, so... And I'm not sure where Magus is, for example. Yeah, 49 is Bahia, as far as I'm, I'm... I think it's... I don't remember what the Minas Gerais code is right now, but I think 49 is Bahia, although... The other um, things, I'm not sure that they have the code. There's, I've seen several other things with a different code, so perhaps... Those are just cell phone numbers. Uh, but it might not be the 49 area code for the for this town. Okay, ferramentas, just iron works or something. And no, it is 49. If I remember that, it would be. But yeah, you know, theoretically, you won't. So how else do you figure out? Well, you look at the businesses. Eventually, you will find one that will have the city and state code. You just have to be a little patient. Certainly when you don't have a time limit, that's very easy to do. When you do have a time limit, it's it's harder, as I've said. I'm used to timers, for sure. Um, so I may have missed some businesses that had it, simply because I'm used to going a little faster and trying to find other sources of information. So I'm on to Baker Road now. I could go to the city center, however, I'm not sure how much the city center will be helpful. Let me go back to that van, though, because the van could be helpful. Uh, the van boss, that's the flag of um, the Bahia, I think. Secretary of Saudi, but I, I don't know. So the reason why I'm going outside of the city is because there would be signs anyway outside of the city and they might be better than the ones inside of the city center. Um, plus this is a big road so I know I can leave the city on this road. I mean it's a four lane road, right? So it's big enough that it's going to leave the city, maybe not as a four lane road, but but it's not, it's probably not going to go to dirt, you know. it's. It should remain as it is, and there might be signs to other cities that I might be more familiar with, or just something, like there's a freeway, you know. Right there, there's a freeway, Florianopolis, okay. I do know where that is. Uh, maybe. Hold on, is it in Berlandia? No, I don't. I might. Um, hold on. I will get onto the freeway and then we will find out. It's not really a freeway. They're building it as a freeway, I believe. It looks like there's... Going in this direction, not anymore, but um, like they were trying to make a freeway out of this. So what's this? Florianópolis, Curitiba. Right, so it's south. Really? 49 down here in Paraná? That's interesting. I need to look into that. Uh, so Curitiba, Florianópolis is in, in, in uh, this Santa Catarina. Um, so now I need the city. Uh, hold on. It was... Uh, we saw it at one point. Lagos. Not Magas. Lagos was the city. No, there's no way Santa Catarina is 49. Is it? No. Something's weird with the 40. I, I need a, I'm actually going to look this up in between um, rounds. Camoes Humberto de Campos. The city center is... In which direction? We went this way, so we're east of the city center. Campos. Amos. Branco. Yeah, we went a little way. Camos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're here by Blyer. A little bit ahead. 
over in here. Perfect score. So Brazil area codes. Now, admittedly, during a challenge, that's a little weird to look up, but... Oh, it is. Yes, 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 it is. So, it actually starts... Uh, I never looked at this in such... I thought it increased, which it does. It, it, it increases going west and north. However, it actually originates out of Sao Paulo, which makes sense um, from a capital standpoint. Then it goes up over to Minas, which is 38, down, and then over this way, and up, and over. So it's not exactly a, a straightforward pattern. Uh, these are the exception. I guess you could say that these are the exception, basically. So there we go. Those are the codes. You can screenshot that map because it's going away now. So let's see. I can also learn something from this guide by making it. Uh, okay. Uh, last round is not... Um, in the Amazon, like I thought maybe, oh, that would be nice. Uh, so it's kilometer five, numbered from the south, should be, although uh, it could be an east-west road and there could be some weird things going on. So I'm going to go south, hoping to get to kilometer zero. And usually it's not a dead end, unlike Russia, where it can sometimes be a dead end. Looking at this, well, it looks a little bit like that Minas Gerais round we had before, so uh, quite possibly we could be in Minas Gerais again. I would not be surprised at all if that happens. Also, Goyas is a possibility. Either one of those. Okay. Um, so one thing I've pointed out is um, before, actually, in one of the, in the Uruguay one, in Brazil, the way you can identify the gas stations is, it's the BR gas station, Petrobras. Uh, we saw one in the other um, round. It's the only... Actually, it's not a monopoly in Brazil. I don't think it's a monopoly. It's a monopoly in Argentina, for sure, with YPF. But I think, because I think we saw a Shell station as well in the other one. So it might not be a monopoly, but you'll see a lot of them, certainly. It's area code 66, which we previously looked at. And it increases, so this was 38, 70, 66, was either Goyas, Mato Grosso, Mato Grosso do Sul, in here. So, one thing that you can tell about Mato Grosso is it's pretty similar to Minas Gerais, so this part of Mato Grosso, this, or Mato Grosso do Sul. Mato Grosso, meanwhile, is more of the Amazonian type landscape of lush jungle and um, very flat in general much flatter than this. And if you're interested in what a fazenda is, a fazenda is the Brazilian style of plantation, so plantacion would be the Argentinian version, which we saw last time with um, uh, with one of the, the, the Argentina challenge. Um, but this is Brazil, and it's called a fazenda. There's a town, so I did pick the right direction. Kilometer zero is going to be in that town. Um, or before it, in that town. Yep. I don't know what that is now, but whatever. We went in the right direction. This might be a big... Uh, no, it's not. I've, it's not an important sign, just speed limit. So, the city is Sarutare... Sarutaria. Sarutaya. Sarutaya, Sarutaya, Brazil. It's in Sao Paulo, so Sao... Oh, okay, that makes sense. So, Sao Paulo is the, the ones, so 11, whatever, area codes, but the Fazenda was located in Minas, in uh, Mato Grosso do Sul, or the area code of it was, probably the owner was from Mato Grosso do Sul and had a Mato Grosso do Sul code. Uh, I'm not really sure why Aracatuba is um, considered a micro-region of, but I just noticed that now. I know they did some changes to the Google Maps recently, uh, but I'm not going to get into that, because it's not really important. Uh, so it's the Sao Paulo 303, SP, Sao Paulo. Uh, Sao Paulo does this kind of stuff, which, um, as you leave towns often, which is pretty useful. There's a pattern, it 
seems like. Actually, I know there is somewhat. 333, 303 should be in here. It was Sarutaya or something of that sort. Um, 300. 293, 261, 280. Almost all of them except for 300. So far, uh, that's our email today. 207, 225, 308. It's not really a pattern, to be honest. It kind of seems like there is, but there really isn't. 303, Sarutaya. So I started, what's five kilometers? Five kilometers, maybe? It wraps around to the left. Five kilometers, maybe, here? Uh, no, because it's, it's here, I think. Uh, no, no, closer by uh, double the distance, but yeah, it's just, I mean, I would actually take a little more care in pinpointing, but that's not, this isn't a, a guide to pinpointing, this is a guide to South America, and in this case Brazil, so that's why I haven't focused on that, 24864 is fine, a southern bias, we didn't get any of the Amazon, but guess what, I've sort of shown what the Amazon looks like, you can imagine what the Amazon looks like, you really don't need me to, to, to show that. The important part is we saw some southern stuff. We saw the desert, which is what you don't think of when you think of Brazil. Um, and then we got Minas Gerais and, and all of that, which honestly appears the most out of any. So um, I, I think it was a, a good challenge to the introduction of Brazil. So, um, yeah. Uh, thank you to all who watched this. Um, I guess technically there's going to be a, a, another part, but... Thank you for watching if you do, um, and, you know, hopefully these guides, all eight, are going to be very um, informative. I know I didn't cover Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guyana, Paraguay, um, but I don't have, those don't have street view, and I, photospheres to me, I don't know photospheres well, so i I don't know what Venezuela looks like, for example, or Paraguay. I mean, you know, Paraguay, I can say, well, this part would look like Argentina, this part like Bolivia, this part like Brazil, like Mato Grosso, and that's probably true. Same thing with French Guiana, Suriname Guiana is going to be more Amazonian. Northern part of Venezuela is going to be like Colombia. That's my guess, but I don't know what it looks like, so I don't think it's, it's good to make a beginner's guide when you don't know yourself. Uh, so, um, yeah, until next time. See you.